Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more. Um, oh. <laughs> welcome back to more Red Dead, everybody. And that was a... You're welcome, love. <laughs> the oldest profession. This guy ain't getting his balls drained now. Anyway, uh, enough about that. So, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, guys. In the last episode, we managed to finally kill DeSanta. So, that's one of these rich baits out the way. Let's continue terrorizing and murdering our way through the innocent lands of Mexico. Come on, midnight. <laughs> Let's ride. And it looks like... We're going to go see Mr. Abraham Reyes. Or Reigns? Reyes? Reigns? I forget his name. But let's go see what he has for us. Luckily, he's just uh, a quick hop and a skip over yonder. And we're going to find this chap. And maybe there's going to be more murder afoot. I mean, seems to be a reason. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hum. Well, before we do that, let's go see what's going on over here. Mr. Wright? Is that you? Will you, honestly, bloody dogs? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. You come to enjoy the scenery? I guess I have. What are you doing out here? You know trying to capitalize on the stiff upward breezes in this region to launch my first ever flight. You're going to try to use that crazy thing to fly? I'll be soaring like an eagle or my name's not Charles Kinnear. I should be the first man swooping through this valley. Yes, I shall. I'd leap off now, only it seems like I need more adhesive to keep the wings together. I've concocted my own special formula. Uh -huh. That store-bought stuff isn't strong enough. However, I can't abandon my machine to gather more materials. What kind of materials are you talking about, Charles Kinnear? I need a bunch of bird feathers. Doesn't matter what kind, along with a parcel of beaver hides to boil down, along with some red sage to make it all pliable. Okay. I think I can find all that stuff. I'll be back, Charles. Because you leaping off that cliff is something I have to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Down Yes, they did! Yeah, well, um, what happened to dear old Icarus? Huh? What happened, Mr. Charles? Uh, right, problem is going to be the stuff that we need. So, we need 20 feathers, 5 beaver furs, and 10 red sage. Um, so, I'm probably going to gather all of that stuff off camera because, I mean, that's kind of a lot. Also, the beaver furs, I, uh, thinking about it, I don't think we can get those. Until we get up here to the dams. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Because we haven't seen any of those yet. Um, beavers. Beavers, beavers, beavers. Up the dams. Because that, I think the dam is up here by tall trees. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly another dam up here. I'm pretty sure, like, the Sasquatch is up here or something. Or is that just undead red? Uh, undead. Undead red? Undead red. <laughs> undead nightmare. Alright, whatever. I'll be back. I will be back, sir. A little bit later. Don't you worry about that. I can't actually remember the outcome of this, uh, Stranger, but then, um, as we're kind of, ooh, discovering. As we're discovering. Oh, I have a feeling. 
th there's definitely a lot of uh, these guys that I haven't killed. Or uh, uh, quests that I haven't completed. So... All right, <clears throat> so about 15 wolves later, yeah. give or take, and a hell of a lot of hawks, and we have pretty much all the feathers that we need, which is good, and a hell of a lot of uh, wolf parts that we don't need. So, profit. Anyway, let's get going kind of want to get to a point where I can save it now I've got all of that uh, all of that good stuff there's nothing worse than spending you know a good 20 30 minutes harvesting up animal parts and then dying and losing all of our um, stuff especially when your horse kind of bounces off a rock face there and uh, catapults you into the water yeah it's pretty pretty awkward now I was also thinking um, this game, right, has an impressive amount of wildlife going on. It's actually truly impressive. Like, the amount of birds and stuff everywhere and wild animals and stuff, it's crazy. So this guy lives in, like, a little mansion. All right. Cool. I can get behind this. Oh. Tenemos que movilizar fuerzas en el extremo sur de la llanura para que los flancos del este y el oeste. Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo. Here. Well, well, well. Look who it is. The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution. I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. A man like you or me with, with just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, set my people free. Hey! Libre Mexico! like food to me I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me uh-huh good for you uh, when I rule these people I shall be fair and judicious and wise how so you ask very simple I know these people I know this land in, in short I can make them better it must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you. Don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Okay. Being roped into another endeavor for this chap. Sure. All right, Reyes. Let's go. So, a train robbery, you say? Well, right. You must tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you... Oh, watch what you're writing. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. <laughs> so where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You told me you'd found him. And I will. I have my very best man working on it. If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes, you'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. Hmm. 
we'll soon see about that. I mean, I hope we're going to get these guys. How did you meet these William Song and Esquaja? We ran in the same gang together. Under a fella called Dutch. Ah, Dutch. Lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me. I suppose. He saw that the system of power was rotten. The good people had been crushed for too long. And he believed yeah, that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless. Make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know. But I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything. In everyone. Interesting, because uh, that's Marston. foreshadowing for the what second a story, game. John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad. A musical tribute to a heroic man and their great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. <laughs> Remind me to stay away from men with guitar. In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper, song is a powerful means of communication. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your posters. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio. How I fought off a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the people have the truth. <laughs> oh, John. <laughs> I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, Young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then his son takes his dog outside and rapes it. That's a very specific example, Abraham. Es una marioneta. How do you say a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. Oh, watch what you're writing. Andale. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. No for carajo. Cuidado, dog. Oh, just get on with it, dude. What's on that train that's so important? I received information that the <clears throat> army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there, but those supplies won't be arriving. I figured as much. Today, Allende will pay a high price for his treason. It's yes, like every time you bump into him, he stops what he's saying. He's riding like an asshole. I mean, so am I, to be fair. This train is filled with valuable supplies we need, but it's also filled with government troops. We'll set off a very loud distraction. You can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. I do remember okay. this. But listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Eh? I think this guy likes the idea of becoming a leader. Take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, John. This is a stealth section. This is not going to be great. So. Yeah, this guy sees himself as an actual proper hero. Use throwing... Oh, throwing knives. Alright. Um, but I'm not sure he actually has the fortis... The actual testicle... 
Uh, fortitude to become a hero. Oh. Really? Fucking hell. Bit of a limp noodle throw there, John. What? I was gonna say, how the hell does that work? <laughs> Alright, whatever, we got it, we got it. Now, maybe we just use Deadeye. And everything gets just that little bit easier. Oh, right in the head. Okay. Oh. I thought he was dead. <laughs> Stealthy as always. Take out the guards. Have we not done that? Oh, hello. That guy's got a machine gun. Now, the good thing about using Deadeye is it makes you supremely accurate. Right. So, let's detach the train cars. Uh, that's not good. Is it? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Oh. He's dead. Wait. Do we only actually have to just detach one link? Curious. Okay. Well, let's go to town. Good thing these uh, guns have unlimited ammo. Oh, nice. We can use this all day, guys. I think the Mexican government is going to rule the day. They pissed off John Marston. Keep running, boys. <laughs> you got to love that wooden helm screen. Absolutely love it. Always makes my day better, you know? Nothing's better than killing a man and hearing that scream. Right, he's finished. Kinda don't want to leave the Gatling gun. Alright. Thus ends the gun fun. Kinda want to harvest all those bodies as well, but... We'll be good. Really? Okay, so so much for stealth. Whoa, I have no idea what happened to that. But it weren't great. That was unfortunate. See, we can't unpin these uh, train cars. So we've actually only disconnected one. Come on, John. There we go. Alright, I mean, I suppose we don't need to worry about it if we just take control of the whole car. I guess. Pull the handbrake, leave it to steal the train. Was this part of the plan? Or are we making it up as we go along? I guess we're just making it up. I was under the illusion Okay. That wasn't the job description. You move like a cat onto that train. Know about that. I don't know about moving like a cat. I've had plenty of cats over the years. Um and none of them have ever used a Gatling gun. I mean, admittedly, there's always a first time. But to my knowledge, no cat has ever used a Gatling gun. Okay, so what's the betting? 
This is gonna go horribly wrong. Probably a good idea to get out of here. Definitely need to be going a lot faster than that. Or maybe not. Alright. Yeah, why do I feel like we should be ready? So, what is in here? There were soldiers in here. Aha! Uh -huh. We have a safe. Very nice. Ah, uh, right. Okay, so move to the right to find the first number. Okay. Shit. Yeah, I remember these being sort of awkward. Oh, we start by resetting to zero. I guess that means we have to leave. Um, let's have a look. Move to the right. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. You've got to actually uh, push the stick left to move right, haven't you? Wait. You actually push right to go right? That's where we've been going wrong. Right, okay. So wait for it. Okay. Try this bad boy. Shit. Nope, that's fine. We've just got to go all the way around. Okay. Final number. Hey, we got that. Ooh, what is inside? Looks like coin. And a gun. What gun is that? So we've got 200 bucks. What else? What gun was that? Is it the Schofield Revolver? Might have been the Schofield Revolver. Yeah, that Cattleman revolver is starting to look very out of date. Or it might have been the double action. It's fast firing. Still, the semi-auto is just way better. All right, whatever. I mean, we got some stuff. So, happy days. New gun. Plenty of money. Still odd. That there's a gun in a uh, safe, but whatever, we'll take it. <laughs> Not a bad day of robbing the establishment to give to the poor, eh, hey, Mr. Marston? Very noble, I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and the Squaler are hold up. All in good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. See you back at the ranch. Hmm. My spies tell me they soon will have the information. Yeah, why do I get the feeling that we're being led round in circles once again? This guy is definitely a buffoon, that's for sure. Well, still nothing for us then. Okay. The search continues. 
for now. And we've got to go back to see Abraham again. But that's going to have to wait until the next video. So uh, before I actually record the next video, I might go collect up all the goodies so we can do uh, Dalius and Son. Just for the lols. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.